Welcome back, welcome back. I think for today, we're just gonna do a quick overview of the Afuente wall. Won't show any rare Afuente products or any Opus in this little video. Just gonna be a quick overview of all the Afuente products we have. Kind of start from the bottom here. A lot of the Florfina products. All the 858s, Sun Grown, Maduro Natural, whole Casa Cuba line. Very underrated. Of course, your standard Coronas. Royal Salute. Huge Churchill. Some Don Carlos options. Number two being the most popular. Of course, you can't go wrong with some Hemingways. A lot of shelf space taken up for the Chateau Fuentes. You've got Chateau Fuente, Maduro, and Sun Grown. Double Chateau Fuente, Maduro sun grown and then the natural which is definitely the lightest chateau fuente cuban bellicoso and then my personal favorite the king bee phenomenal smokes standard churchill maduros and the naturals of course then up at the very top, we do have some of the Holiday Anejos still left. Good old Rosado Sun Grown. Certainly more popular than what I was expecting when we initially started that line. In fact, we only started with the uh, Super 60s, which is, of course, a 6x60. And I did not expect that to be the most popular Vitola out of all of them. More than the 56, the 54, or the 52. I was very surprised by that. Of course, just like with everything else, we keep a lot of the sealed boxes up top. All the Florfinas... Classic signatures, short stories, Chateau Fuentes, even curly heads. A lot of Casa Cubas. Yeah, on the bottom, the closed boxes that you see, those are all just my filler boxes. That way you can kind of keep a little bit better presentation. I do like the look of a full box, although oftentimes people with not the best humidor etiquette have a tendency to kind of pick and dig through the cigars rather than pull on the plastic tab that you'll notice is always on all my boxes. All you have to do is kind of give it a little pull and it'll come up. So that's the only downside to having the full boxes, but me personally, I just like the presentation a lot better. Obviously with some of these, I don't have filler boxes. All the holiday releases, I mean, they're just, you're not going to get a lot of the same Vitola. So you just kind of have to move through them and move on, replace it with another option. But yeah, for now, that's kind of our basic of Fuente selection. A little bit of everything, obviously not everything, but as much as we can realistically have with, you know, while still offering other great options to our clientele. All the Opus and Rare Fuentes will be in another video, but I think for now you'll kind of get the point. These are some of my personal favorites, some of the better Dominican products in my opinion. Always a safe recommendation, recommending these to other individuals, rather they're new to the cigar scene, or even they're a seasoned smoker. Construction is usually on point, the draw is on point. It's just something I can safely recommend for anyone and I know they're going to have a good experience. So yeah, this is what we're looking at right now. 
If there's a Vitola or an option that you think we should carry, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. And also just let me know your opinion on the layout and what you think. Thank you so much for watching. You enjoy the rest of your day.